We'll just have a look at the new Micron Wings Mini Delta. So here's the airframes here. So this one we're looking at here is the white airframe. And this one here is the white gray airframe. So you can see on the white gray airframe, we've got the the body sides here, six mil gray Depron, as well as the wing tips here and the, the air dams being black as well. So these are the two variations in the kit. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, what the kit looks like as a frame. Okay, all right, so what we've got here, this is the, the subframe. Now this isn't the way you actually build the kit. Okay, this is just an example of what you would see if you peeled away the, the Depron. So we've got the, the frame made of balsa for the main body part. We've got carbon spars here. And for the, the wing ribs, we're using uh, Paul Nonia wood. Okay, it's a bit stronger than Depron. Okay, so with this one here, we can see the canopy. Okay, it slides out here, and we've actually got a camera mounted there. So just showing the, the camera mount. And when the canopy slides on, it slides on like this, and straight over the, the camera. Okay, into there. Alright, so this is just uh, also an example of the, the avionics bay on the bottom there. So you can see the, the FPV unit being situated in, in the bottom avionics bay. So that's what the frame looks like. That's the bulkhead on the back there. Okay, so this kit is actually uh, designed to, to mount an FPV camera, an FPV unit if you, if you want to. Of course, you don't have to. So in the kit, we've actually got two pieces of foam. These are the pieces of foam that cover the, the top of the canopy there. So we've got one here, which has got the cutout for the camera and one without. So when you build this, you can build either version uh, depending on your preference, if you want to set it up as an FPV or not. Okay, so let's just have a look at uh, what's actually included in the kit. Okay, so as you receive the kit, this is how it looks here. You get a, a bag of components, uh, push rod connectors and uh, standoffs and things like that. You get some decals, sandpaper sheet, uh, reinforcing, this is carbon rods here. These are what go into the bulkhead. And some reinforcing uh, sheets here, which is sticker paper. They actually stick to the back of the wings. Okay, we'll take a look at the, the Depon parts. So this one here is the, the gray kit. We've got six mil Depon parts. This is the fuselage sides. We've got three mil Depon parts. And these are for the, the canopy coverings and control surfaces and so on. And then for the wing coverings, we've got the 2 mil Depon. Okay, so at the moment, initially we're, we're cutting, cutting these kits from 2 mil Depron uh, and 3 mil and 6 mil Depron, and uh, that'll be while we've got stock of, of Depron, after which we'll start cutting the kits from modeling foam. Okay, so this is the, the ribs, pull one in the wood, so it's a bit, a bit stronger than Depron. That's the ribs there. The bulkheads are all one millimeter ply, and then two millimeter bolts are for the fuselage parts. Okay, so that's what comes in, in the kit. Okay, let's have a look at the, the airframe. So the canopy just slides off like this. Now the kit is, is supplied without any electronics, so there's no motor, no propeller or anything with the kit. Uh, but this one here, we've actually got it set up with an 8,200 kilovolt motor and a 90 mil prop there. Okay, so the canopy just slides slides on from the front and just slides in there like that. Okay, so if we have a look underneath, we've got the avionics bay here. There's just one screw to unscrew it. Okay, the cover comes off. Okay, and in here you can mount uh, a small ESC. You can mount your FPV gear up here. So it gives you option to, to mount some of your electronics on the bottom there and the rest of the electronics in, in here with the battery. All right, we'll have a look at, uh, we'll have a look at the white model where we've already got this set up. Okay, so on this one here, you can see we've got a 750 milliamp hour battery in here. Okay, just held in with some uh, pieces of foam there. The gray foam just positions the battery in the right spot. We've got a micro receiver here, 
and then around the back here once again the 8200 kilovolt motor uh, so for motor choices you can have 8200 kilovolt 10000 kilovolt um, or even the apo3 motor will be a good choice Okay, let's just have a look at, uh, let's put this canopy back on again. So the batteries, uh, we recommend uh, from 500 to a 950 milliamp hour battery. That's a 1S battery. So this is uh, an example of a 750 milliamp hour battery and a 950 milliamp hour battery, 1S battery. Okay, and you can see if we look at the avionics bay in the top and we put that battery in there, there's plenty of room for the battery in there with the receiver and the EC at the back. Okay, so that's just a quick look at the airframe. That's how it looks. And uh, they're available now on the website.